Seven News now begins with some breaking news this morning. A cut gas line. This is right along Colorado Boulevard. Could cause some big traffic headaches later today. This is happening just a few blocks north of I-25. It's on Iowa. And that's where Tyler Lopez is this morning. Tyler, how are repairs coming along so far? The majority of the issues you're going to see are for traffic going northbound. Southbound is able to get through. Let me show you what we can see right now. This is the contractor, Q3 contractors. They were working on a natural gas line about 1 o'clock in the morning. And one of their employees tells us that the locating company didn't let them know about a gas natural gas line that they ended up cutting as they did some work for Excel. That means that we've been able to smell at times natural gas, but he says that line has been repaired. Now they're going through the process of going through the final fix. So what you can see is two of the four lanes that head northbound towards Florida and Arkansas are reduced. So that's where the main traffic impacts are going to be. He says this project is likely to take several hours, perhaps as long as six or seven o'clock in the morning, although he called said it's not necessarily a big deal. It certainly could be a big deal for commuters. At times we have smelled natural gas, not especially strong right now. And you can see traffic still getting by in the remaining two lanes to go northbound. But no doubt, Mitch and Jason, this is going to be an issue for at least part of the morning, perhaps even all the way into 7 o'clock. Yeah, so dropping even one lane on Colorado Boulevard. As that progresses, we'll see how it plays out in traffic. Right now, right near there, what it will really affect more than anything is this ramp that comes off a of northbound I-25 to exit Colorado Boulevard and then go north from there. So take a look at the map, and I'll show you the exact area. It's going to be on that northbound side, again, of Colorado Boulevard just after I-25 right after Mexico, right before Florida, right by the Little Anitas over there and the shoe st uh, sh uh, store as well. So you're going to see some of that restrictions in there. Not going to see a big delay, I think, until after 7 o'clock this morning. 